hello and good morning friends let's uh, start the project we left behind so be before starting let's uh, add a dependencies which can't be uh, downloaded somehow i don't know why but uh, which is showing error to download so we have to add that dependencies before that let's start the server for a development server php addison serve which is pretty easy to start now we can check the server development server whether it is running or not we can see it 127 so it's working now uh, we have to add the dependency which uh, which we forgot which i forgot to add in the previous video and that dependency is pretty required in this uh, chart series so that we have to edit ma edit manually we can download it somehow i don't know why laravel is not comp uh, and laravel and npm are not compatible to download this package so i have to add this oh sorry wrong file uh, i have to add this manually uh, this one socket io client i can't i could not download it manually uh, manually so i have to edit manually in the dev dependencies socket dot io client yeah done now we are ready to start the coding part let's add another tab and let's create a model php artisan make model message in the message model for quick access model and migration i'm creating the migration as well so it won't be a problem in future now let's uh, add the protected fillables in the message so protected uh, wrong place protected uh, dollar fillable equal to square bracket semicolon yeah so we are using two uh, columns here name and body and now let's make some changes in the migration make the uh, columns in the migrations yeah table oh, table string name will uh, provide the name name as string and table text mesh body we will provide the body as text now we will migrate the table migrate the tables php partition migrate now let's start with the let's let's start to import the dependencies in our app.js so let's start uh, import from view socket io so import from import view socket io view, view socket io sorry wrong oh shit uh, view socket io from view socket io now let's another dependencies socket io from socket io client 
import socket io socket io from socket io client socket io client then let's define the port which we will work on q use view socket io comma socket dot io in the port view socket io comma socket dot io sorry socket io in the port our ready server server will use this port for the um, uh, events and uh, messages i think this part is done nothing more to do yeah let's create a let's create a file in the uh, source repo let's create a file in the source repo and name it server.js server.js <coughs> so, and uh, in server.js we have to take a variable app and require express you can uh, read the guidelines in uh, in the laravel broadcast there is everything var yeah var server you have to define the server what kind of server you are using we are using so we are using a http server you can define https when you upload it to a, a a secure socket layer website or something like that server app then we have to de define the io var io oh shit ha huh. var io require socket io server require socket io server then we have to add mm, define radius var radius require radius then we have to define the server port below here we can define server listen this is the port we have defined in app.js just same port nothing else yeah here see now we have to define io on connection function socket io on connection function socket connection console log we have, we set a console log here it's starting it will log in console that the server server has been starting then we have to uh, define a redis client as a variable var redis client equal to redis create client redis will create a client when the server will start we are defining that 
then we have to subscribe an event which will uh, will subscribe in a risk client subscribe message if you are you also want to subscribe anything else then you can you can define it here redis client subscribe like i am subscribing in messages so i am defining here redis client subscribe message you can define anything now we have to uh, define what the what the redis will do when it is on so redis client on message message means the uh, the uh, event the it will pass the data it will pass and function channel and message this message is the data now we will define socket what will socket will emit so socket emit dot emit channel message what is the function for better practice we can add socket dot on disconnect function so for better practice when to to quit the server socket on disconnect function redis client redis client quit so our server.js is ready we have to keep it running while uh, while we are testing the real time uh, services and all so we have to keep it running always so far no error so it is all is all okay so friend so far in this video in the next video we will talk about uh, the controller we will make the controller we will make the component in view and we will define the routes and in the next video we will design the input and uh, message input and analyst we will analyze the message so so here is it now see you in the next video happy coding